Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Draft of Darkness, shall we? This is a survival horror deck building game, and developers reached out to see if I wanted to check it out, and I just thought the screenshots that they shared looked hilarious, and I was really eager to give it a shot, so let's jump in and see what this game is all about. The game released fully uh, yesterday, I believe, so now this is out of early access and it's ready to go. I'm going to start a new run. Is this a roguelike as well? We're going to find out. Okay, so we can select a hero, which is, looks like I have Jake or I have Kara. She's locked. Um, so Jake starts out with this perk, Daredevil. If you have less than 10 of a resource, increase the base damage of moves in your hand by 40% only applies to moves requiring that resource. Looks like I have a deck that has, uh, so this is maybe like Sway Aspire. I've got five pistol shots. This is, takes two energy. No, this is pistol whip and pistol shot. Okay, this is a melee attack. And it takes two energy and does four. This is a shot, which takes three energy and a bullet and does six damage. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to edit the deck. I don't know anything about the game. I've got some Sweatpants, coat, cap, here's my gun. This is really cool. So I guess I have uh, some gear. I have some flares. Awesome. I have some money. Let's roll. Uh, normal difficulty settings. And I'm just going to go with the standard survival horror experience. You know what I'm getting vibes of like right away as I boot this up? There's a Resident Evil... Uh, deck building game that's super fun. Uh, it's a tabletop game and you know you kind of like kick down the door and you're exploring and you're fighting monsters and getting weapons and stuff. Uh, it, it's So let's see uh, if it's anything like that or, or how this goes. Today you've set a new record. 309 servers were simultaneously at your fingertips. Oh I'm a hacker. Cleaning up the mess won't be easy for them but it's nowhere near enough. It won't even make the news tonight. Hopefully someone else will follow in your footsteps and take the lead. You see a message from an old friend. You haven't heard from him in ages. The message simply states, It's time. That's ominous. Time to go to Taco Bell. They've finally tracked you down. It won't be long before pursuers arrive at your doorstep. That's not Taco Bell. There is no other choice. It's time for plan B, your final fight. Oh boy. <laughs> Am I going to make a last stand against the uh, the feds? Or are we talking about zombies? Oh wow, cool. Look at these graphics. Exploration. To move around, use WASD. You can also point at tiles and use right mouse button to walk automatically on a calculated path. Use left mouse button to stop while moving on a path. Move toward events to interact with them. Toggle the grid with F11. Your progress will be saved periodically. Closing the program while the save icon being displayed may result in corrupted save data. You don't want that. You can see the tutorial history by clicking the uh, information button on the bottom right. Okay. So, I'm going to keep the grid on. I like it because it just reminds you that you're moving square by square. So, here's a little box. Um and I walk into it to interact with it. I found a double-A battery and some pills. I'll just click collect all. Uh, this is... Yep, take it all. I don't know if you have inventory space. That's a problem. Let's just take a look at the UI. There's something at the top that says zero. I don't know what that means. Zero enemies aware of me, maybe. Or I have eight bullets. I have ten battery power. I have two pills, three flares that I started with. I have 65 health. My deck has ten cards. Okay. Let's roll. Looks like I can check out this. And there's pistol bullets and some chemicals. Okay. Um, and let's see. What is the take all button? It's R. Awesome. Okay. And let me look over here. Here's my flashlight. Um, I got into this room. I opened the door. I'm just searching everything. Uh, equipment. Beefy HID flashlight. Cool. I don't know. Yeah, take it. Shotgun shells. 
wow, this is really sweet. So it's kind of like, I mean, obviously it's Resident Evil you're exploring, but then there's like some elements of like Project Zomboid or something to it as I'm getting equipment. I'm going to push I. Okay, great, to go in my inventory. I didn't know. It was just my guess. Equipments increase character attributes. Hovering over equipment will show the attribute differences compared to the equipment costumes and weapons. Equipment's level will always sync to the character's level and give them more attributes as they gain levels. Okay. Equipping weapons is important since the character can only use moves with this type of equipped weapon. Yep. You can also determine alternative weapons by equipping weapons and clicking the swap button. You can swap between alternative and main weapons during encounters by spending energy. Okay, so I got this, like, flashlight, and I guess it, it's in my melee slot, maybe? Um, so I'm going to put it in my offhand. I don't have a flashlight equipped, I suppose. So this thing gives me, like, one, maybe, slashing damage to, I don't know, bludgeoning damage? I don't know what the different damage types are, unless that's electrical damage. Um... Okay, and let me see this really fast. Yeah, you can see that my power goes up by equipping this. So I'm just going to right-click it, and I'm going to equip it. And I'm happy about that. And let me just walk over here. What's this? Uh, decisions. In decision events, you'll encounter various choices that you need to make. Certain decisions can have an impact on future events. Uh, do I want to wake this dude up? Do I want to steal his goods? Do I want to ignore him? Um... A man sitting near the wall catches your eye. He doesn't seem to be aware of you, probably unconscious or sleeping. Uh, wake him up. You all right, dude? You call out to him, but get no response. You decide to shake him a little, and suddenly he holds his throat, seemingly trying to cough something out. He is choking. Uh, can I help you? You rush to him, lean him forward, and strongly hit his upper back a few times. He starts gagging and coughing, and suddenly something darts from his mouth. Gross. While trying to catch his breath, the poor man looks at you with gratitude. He reaches his bag and gives you some pistol bullets and batteries. As you take the items, he returns to his sleeping position, implying that he wants to be alone. <laughs> I need to be alone after that. Granting his wish, you walk away. So we got six bullets and five batteries. That's actually incredible. Look at that. So we go up to 15 batteries, 18 bullets... Great. You can hold shift to run, like move faster, I guess? Nah, eh, that doesn't seem to work. Um, maybe it means to, like, if you're right-clicking. Um, alright. Can I open this door? No. Okay, I'm looking at the map. No, I can't. I need to go this way, actually. Okay. And go down. What's this blood smear? That doesn't look good. Oh my god, what's that? Uh. I mean, this looks bad. I stepped in its threatened range. Okay, it's a dark wasp and a sick rat. Look at this, I've got my flashlight. Ooh, I'm getting hit pretty hard here. Uh, encounters. Going near enemy tiles during exploration will start the encounter phase. Defeat all enemies to gain loot and experience. Click left mus uh, mouse button and drag or point and click moves to use them. Double click on moves to use the item quickly if there's no need to select targets. You can also use items to gain advantage if you have them. Notice that some items can only be used in exploration and some only in encounters. Usable items and moves will be highlighted. Key shortcuts can also be used to play moves. Check out the options menu to see and configure keys. Each move will cost energy and resources, such as pistol bullets. The green, uh, the energy of the character can be seen under them as a green bar. The resources are mutual for all your characters and can be seen in the top left of the screen. Interesting. So they got to go first, and they hit me pretty hard, which is really annoying. Uh, so... Let's see, how much energy do I have? Let me see this. Let me look at the screen. So, like, this takes a battery charge, but this just takes energy. And... These take bullets.
you can do like what auto fight Oh, the weak alternatives. Okay, well, I have some bullets, so uh, let me kill this wasp, I guess. Deal seven damage. Okay, I need to look... I need to figure out where energy is. Like, it says it takes two energy. Okay, it's the green bar. I didn't somehow see that. Okay, I oh, I have a lot of energy. I, like, I'm thinking Slate Aspire, where I only have two. Okay, I can do a lot. This turn, anyway. I can't quite kill it. Every time you draw this, double its damage. Uh, I'm going to actually do this to kill the thing, so it can't hit me. Not enough energy. Oh, so close. Brutal. All right. Well, I should have planned better. End turn. It's interesting, like, um, how the game appears, you know, uh, conserving resources. To conserve your ammo, you can enter conservation mode by clicking the button in the bot bottom left or pressing Alt. In conservation mode, you'll use the weak variations of your moves. Keep in mind that not all the moves have weak versions. To preview the weak alternative, press Alt while hovering over the move. That's cool. All entities will get turns depending on their speed attribute. The yellow bar shown under each entity is their time bar. When this bar fills up, the entity gets to make their move. You can also toggle the timeline by clicking the button on the top right. This shows the next entity turns and condition decays order. Okay, so you can see up here... It's like when you see the graphics, it reminds you of like you're playing, you know, almost like one of those early 90s, like Mortal Kombat, Doom. It's not 3D like Doom, but the pixelation and the way that it works, it, it's, uh, it really evokes those kinds of games, at least for me. So this guy's almost dead. So I'm going to see, con uh, like, what can I do a weak hit? Um... If I conserve, um, I can pistol whip to do four damage. And just kill this guy outright. Did that not work? Did I miss? Did I not do that right? What just happened? Oh, because he's flying, I bet I can't hit him. 80% chance to dodge melee attacks. Ouch. Okay, we just have to shoot him. I didn't realize. Okay. I was like, what's going on? How am I miss? Oh, my God. All right, we got to shoot this guy. We're actually not doing well. I've taken a lot of damage. Maybe I should avoid encounters. I mean, that enemy was stationary. Like, I should have just probably not stepped there. Characters may be inflicted with conditions during encounters. They can be permanent for the duration of the encounter or may decay as the encounter timeline progresses. All conditions are removed at the end of the encounter. Conditions may belong to one of different categories. They can be buff, ability, debuff, disability, and damage over time. I'm going to use a battery charge only because, uh, there we go, I drew it so I did 20. Because I was getting beat up and I, I, I needed to do a bunch of damage right away. Okay, so this is the, you get experience points. I did get bullets and I got two batteries and I get a move, choose one. Interesting. So I'm going to get a card. So this is the deck building. All right, so what do we want? Give two tactics to an ally. Draw two extra moves at the start of your next turn. Oh, interesting. Delays. Uh, decay is completely on trigger, right? Spooky light. Um, apply photophobia. Have a 30% chance to be staggered when struck by burn damage or snap out of it. Remove one layer of a disability or debuff from the targeted ally. And if you do, give them adrenaline. Um, that seems pretty good. It's either tactical command or snap out of it. Uh, but I like snap out of it. So I'm going to take that. I also love that you get allies. Like you get a party. Okay, we learned something which can help me um, boost up, like, 
hardiness increases damage with physical weapons. You get more power. Okay, vitality increases hit points, so I get five hit points. Agility, crit chance and speed, and an intelligence damage with chemical weapons and mending. Um, I'm going to go hard, uh, just do more damage kind of thing. Move trunk. Move cards you get will be added to the trunk. Don't forget to teach them to a character by opening the editing window and going to the moves tab. Huh. Character edit window can also be opened with key shortcuts. You can see and configure all shortcuts in the options menu. Okay. So I need to go to the trunk then. Um, moves. And we need to teach this to somebody. Okay, I put it in his deck. Save. Ah, oh, you know what, though? I don't think I need it right now. I'm going to go to uh, just put it back in the trunk. Oh, I can't put it back in the trunk. Touche. All right, well, hopefully it'll be useful later. Uh, what do these do? This says restore 10 hit points. Uh, what is my hit points? Yeah, I kind of need this. I'm poisoned, so I suffer three damage at the start of encounters. Uh, that's bad. I'm just going to drag it to my dude here. And I healed up. Uh, distress signal. There's a radio transmitter that seems to be fixed on a certain frequency. Listening to it, amidst all the noise and nonsense, you faintly make out somebody whispering some numbers. Okay, take that transmitter. You took it. You're darn right I took it. I'll take everything if it's not nailed down. Open the door. What do we got? Okay, there's a bad guy. Let's go over here. Battery and bandage. What's the bandage do? Move. Okay. Remove three levels of affliction. I'm going to take it. I think I can... This is an affliction, right? Yeah, it says decaying affliction. So I'm going to use this on Jake, and it should remove all the poison. It did. All right, so I'm going to keep fighting. It seems like the right thing to do. Now, I hope I... Okay, I just get one acid wasp. That's kind of scary. He bit me. Ow. He attacked a couple of times. That's not nice. All right, so... It's cool, you can do conservative mode, and you can turn um, Snap out of it, which is a card that I don't really want to use right now, and I could turn it into an attack. Uh, I have enough bullets to shoot this guy, I think. See, we raised our physical damage, so these were doing five, now they do six. And at this point, I could just kill this guy in one turn. I did have to use bullets, but uh, we got light officer trousers, we got some batteries, we got ratty buy, sweet. So it's got like some fallout elements to it. I have to say, I really think this game is cool so far. All right, um, what do I want? If I middle mouse button on this, you can then view the weak version so you can see if it, and you can see the upgrade. That's cool. Uh, flash step. Draw three moves. Reduce the energy of drawn moves by one until the end of the turn. Give dead eye to all allies. Increase crit chance or stealthy. Apply one blinded and attract one to another ally. Gain stealth. Uh, I like flash step. Draw the move cards. Item slots. You can assign shortcuts slots to your items, which will help you organize the item bar. Even if an item has no active effect, assigning a slot will pin the item to the slot's position. While hovering over an item, press an Assign Use Item Slot key, like F1, to assign it. During Exploration Encounters, press Assign to select the item for use. Okay. So, like, for example, this flare. Um, oh, I should be using these. I'll put it as F1, and I'll put this as, like, F2, and I guess this is F3, just to kind of equip it. And then um, I'm going to listen to the transmission. You hear 30. Okay, yeah, good. I'm glad I heard 30. I'm going to open this up. Uh, we got bullets, and we got a crossbow bolt. I'll take everything. Uh, I want to fight this because I have a bunch of bullets, and I just want to keep getting experience. What does this 2 mean? Darkness level. Okay. 
increases after every encounter. Oh. So it's trying to, this is like a system to discourage you from actually fighting a lot. That's interesting. All right, we get to go first, but this guy's big and bloated and he has a lot of hit points. Um, I'll use this to do a bunch of damage. Shoot. And I can then do 12, but I can't kill this guy. I could do, I can't do 15. It wouldn't kill him anyway. I'm going to pistol whip twice just to save the bullet. Did he not attack? What did he do? I was just going to see if I could... Yeah, passed. Here it goes, right here. Uh, this is the combat log. Maybe I surprised it. He did nothing. Okay. I hope he doesn't explode on me or something. Well, he's dead now. Alright, we got experience, battery, chemicals, and a move card. Choose one. Deal 1.2 light damage, then more to another random enemy. That's cool. It takes a library, uh, flashlight charge. I don't have any AoE, so I'll take that. Sure. Oh, right. I got to put these in my deck. Uh, I'm going to keep taking hardiness so I can just try to kill things more efficiently. And we'll go ahead and... Oh, that's right. We got these trunks. These are just better categorically in every way. So put those babies on. Go to moves. Uh, throw both of those in the deck. Now, darkness level is getting up there. Alright, there's a baddie, but we can just walk by it if we don't want to fight it. Ooh, a butcher hat. Let's see what this is all about. This uh, gives you crit chance and speed and better defense. So, yeah, take it. The stylish cap is gone. I'm not going to fight that guy because now I'm realizing that you raised, like, the darkness level. And I don't know if that's exactly something that I want to be doing. You can push the map, M, to see the map. And it's really cool, like... The more I play the game, the more... This is a very... Like, obviously, it's full access. It's full release at this point. But this is the kind of roguelike that I like to play where there's so much transparency. You can see where the enemies are, where the chests are, what you've picked up, what you haven't. The map is very clear. There's a combat log. There's good tool tips. Very uh, well done. A generator connected to the electrical wire. It has no fuel. Um, I don't have any fuel, so I really can't do anything but look at this you can reveal enemies you can reveal shops you can reduce the darkness level um that's pretty sweet so that's how you can mitigate darkness is with these generators the darkness level says um high darkness level boosts encounter loot but also increases enemy levels in non-boss encounters and causes sufferings so it's like darkest dungeon in that way like you can manage you know the risk reward if you'd like now i don't know if this light radius is based on my flashlight or just my character normally has that. But I haven't, like, found a compelling reason to use the flare yet. Now, we're gonna have to fight this guy if we go this way. Uh, chemicals and a flare. Let me look at the flare again. What does it do? Aim at a floor to reveal all nearby tiles within six tiles. I guess it's just a huge area. So, oh, there's a person. Is that a vendor? Yeah, they don't look bad. They don't have like a, looks like a arms dealer or something. And then this is, I don't know what. I've seen you before, says this guy. Buying items, equipment, and moves from the left panel use your using your resources. Sell items from the right panel and get resources. Okay. So, this is what he's selling on the left, and this is what I have in my inventory on the right. So, it's kind of opposite from most uh, in trade windows. Do I want to sell anything that I've got? Um, I could sell, like, this 
these two things? How much money do I even have? I'll sell this. I That's the first money I've ever gotten. So you can see he's got a bunch of like cool cards that you could pick up. No Mercy, deal 2 damage per bleeding on the target. Uh, deal 10 damage, repeat 2. Wow. What's repeat 2 again? This effect will be repeated as many times as Disney by repeat amount. Energy cost is applied once. So you do have to... I mean, this is a sweet card. Like... I don't know what run means in brackets maybe it lasts for this run only or something and oh this is a starter card this is for the run i guess gain a bunch of armor yeah i have no defensive cards with this character not like it's the end of the world but it's just limited gain uh two gain two bullets until the end of your turn that's a rare card that's cool so you can like use bullets without concern that is actually pretty awesome so I could sell some stuff but I don't think I can just jump up to enough money um, I could sell the shotgun shell I could sell the crossbow bolt just because I don't have anything for it right now and now I have six I could sell this for 12 and then uh, one ratty buy for three and have 15 and buy um, saved ammo. Oh no, you don't sell this for 12. These are uh, these are one piece. Okay. Oh no, I meant I would have 12 total, not that this would give me 12, right. I'm gonna buy this saved ammo. I like that card uh, because it lets me just, you know, fire away. You've added moves. Um, keep editing, save. All right. Who is this? Little robot. There's a little puppet-like figure in front of you. Upon further inspection, you realize it's a miniature robot. Its eyes start glowing red. It looks at you. Talk to it. You approach the robot. It steps back as if, as if it's scared. Um, what's your name? Why do you care? Who are you? Um, tell me... I'll tell you my name. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you, I guess. What do you think about all this? Well, not much since my freaking batteries are running low again. Every time I think about something remotely complex, I feel like some of my ideas just disappear. I've been thinking of myself as a person getting lost in his thoughts. Now my thoughts are getting lost in me. I'm not used to this. Um, here, you can have a battery. Oh my god. God, I love the robot saying, oh my god, this will definitely help. Suddenly the building shakes with a loud noise. You check your back. When you turn around, he's gone. All right, well, maybe he'll help me later. That's what I like to think. Oh my, look at this guy. He's missing a hand. Uh, do I want to fight him? Not really. I'll just kind of choose my battles, and I, and I can just look for loot instead. Before I fight, right? Like, I can see what the floor is all about. Maybe. Uh, this is a... De I have to fight. What is this? A pillar of flesh? A tombstone? It's a shield. Alright. Oh, sweet. We got my card. Saved ammo. So, I just plop this down. And then I get two extra ammo. So, we can just fire. Um... fire and then do I have a cheap card that I can play yeah weak bash hopefully they just guard I, yeah I mean it seems like what shields would do so I just have to stand here and use resources to fight them I guess um, interesting So this will deal 8 and then 5 to a random enemy. So it's 13 for 3 energy and 1 battery. Uh, this is 10 for 3 and 1, which is 
pretty amazing. I'm gonna shoot you. And then... Pistol whip. Pistol whip. Broke it. And then... I have three energy left, so I'm gonna go ahead and just weak bash this guy. He put up armor on himself, which is, like, super annoying. He did hit me, finally. So he did Metal Slam. Alright. Um, I'm gonna Pistol Whip. Pistol Whip. Pistol Whip. And I'm gonna go to Conserve. I'm just, like, saving as much... As many bullets as I can, basically. Hopefully we can kill this guy next turn. That's what I was hoping for, that he does, like, block and then attack. So he has 24 health that we need to get through. Uh, and here's my saved ammo. So I can just do this. And we got almost through. This will deal 24 damage right now. So let's just finish the fight. I couldn't finish it with just pistol whips. I do have to use a battery charge, but we win. And look at what we get. Holy smokes. So we got batteries, a bunch of experience. All right, and what move do we want? Uh, lend your gun, warning shot, apply one week. Reduce physical defense and dark defense by 50%, increase physical power. That's kind of interesting, but ooh, it takes a lot. Um, clean pistol just says draw two moves and restore two energy. So you spend three to get back two. Eh. I guess I'll take this. I'm not, like, super excited about it, though. And we got another level. And I'm going to just keep taking damage uh, for now. Great. Well, if I look at the map, you can see how much we've covered. And it's really not that much. We're on the first level. We're at four darkness level. But we are doing pretty decent health-wise. I could use, um, you know... I'm just going to push... I'm going to use uh, the the pill on Jake just to heal up. So I'm at 61 out of 65. And uh, let me... The radio says 14. I wonder if that's like how close or far you are. I don't know how to interpret it, but that's interesting. And I think this game is super interesting. I'd love to know what you guys think of this game so far. You know, have you heard of this? Have you played this? What does it remind you of? Does it seem like something you want to see more of? Uh... Do you like the game so far? What are your thoughts and opinions? Please share me with those in the comments below. And let me know. I mean, I think it's a really interesting mix of games. And it, there's like a little Jupiter Hell. There's a little bit of Resident Evil. There's like, you know, Project Zomboid, Slay the Spire. It's just got a bunch of cool stuff mixed into it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care.